Hello, my name is Martin and welcome to the IT Reviews channel. Everyone knows how to save yourself from annoying ads on PC with ad blockers. But is it possible on Android? And the answer is yes. In this video, I will show you how to block ads on Android with Chrome's built-in tools, special DNS provider, ad blocker apps for Firefox add-ons. The result of their performance testing were collected in this table, which we check in details in the conclusion. Method 1. Chrome Browser for Android One of the key features of uh, Chrome for Android is the built-in ad blocker and here is how you can check these feature settings. In Google Chrome, open the menu by tapping on the three dots here in the corner of the screen. Then find the settings section, scroll a bit and go to the site settings submenu. Here you will find two options, ads and pop-ups and redirects responsible for blocking annoying ads and unwanted pop-ups, respectively. Note that on newer versions of Chrome, both options must be disabled in order to use them. Their current state is easy to check, as you can see if you tap it, the feature description switching to allowed or blocked ads. Naturally, we need the second option, which is available only with this switcher position. Let's test these features on two random websites. This is how the first website looks like with ads and pop-ups allowed. There are banners, video ads and animations, a complete package. And here is the second site. It is quite famous, so we see relatively few ads, mostly banners. Leave.tv and PCMag.com And now let's open these websites with enabled ad block features. The first one, as you can see, all advertising is in their place. Now let's open the second site. I see the same banners, but Chrome notifies me that it blocks pop-ups from this site. Well, it is better than nothing, but this ad blocking method does not completely block all ads. Method 2. Ad blocking via DNS. DNS is one of the services that is required for the modern internet. In Android 10 and higher, you can change the base DNS server for all outgoing traffic on the device. To configure DNS for ad blocking on Android, do the following. 1. Open device settings and go to connection settings. In my case, this item is called network and internet. Here you see the private DNS option, tap it. If you have it disabled or in an automatic mode, select the custom or private option. Enter dns.adguard.com in the field and click save. Now let's test how it works. Let's open Chrome and open the first website. As you remember, this site was overloaded with ads and now it can't load itself. Okay, now let's try the second site. As you can see, instead of banners, now there are only empty frames. At the same time, the peculiarity of this method is that such advertising will now be blocked in all browsers. For example, this is how the same page will look in Firefox. Method 3. Ad blocker apps. There is a third option to block ads on Android. Use an ad blocker application, most of which Use the local VPN server, another way to filter ads from your traffic. The play market is filled with thousands of ad blockers and IT reviews may help you to choose one of them. Check out our review of the best ad blockers for different platforms. Let's take AdGuard as an example. Find it in the play market, install and run. And as you can see on the start screen, it can work only with two browsers. Select Yandex browser or Samsung internet browser if you use one of them. Or as in my case, choose the third option. Next, the app shows the explanation to us why any full-fledged ad blockers are not available in the play market. Click go to products and there we are on AdGuard site where you can download the full version of their ad blocker for Android. So select try it for free, give all the necessary permissions if needed and click install. Accept the EULA and privacy policy inside the app to open the setup scenarios. There are two options. Quick and detailed filter settings. Thorough setup is a questionnaire where you choose whether you want to block ads in web search, results, hide social widgets, site notifications and more. If you are not sure of your needs, leave it as is. Uh, these options can be changed later in the settings. The first question in quick mode is about using ad blocker on an HTTPS connection. Skip it for now. The second is the creation of a local VPN connection, which is mentioned earlier. You need it. When you first start, you will be shown two very helpful tips. Uh, but it's better than nothing. Let's return to the Chrome browser and check the app effectiveness 
with our test web pages. Like last time, the first web page is not available due to the peculiarities of embedding ads by the site owner. In such cases, the use of any effective ad blocker will lead to its unstable operation. We go to the second test page and here as you can see all banners are blocked. AdGuard for Android is free and you can freely test its effectiveness on your device. And for those who want to purchase this cross-platform solution, we will leave a special link in the description. Method 4. Browsers with built-in ad blocking. And at the end, the most interesting way to block ads. Download and install Firefox for Android from the Play Market if you don't already have it. Then open a browser and select add-ons in the settings. The list is small, but three ad blockers are available here. The already familiar ad guard, uh, the famous uBlock origin, and the privacy-oriented ghostery. You can use any of them, but not all at once, as it negatively affects the performance of the browser. Let me show you how to use, for example, uBlock origin. Click on the plus and allow the installation, which will take a few seconds. Then Firefox will ask for using uBlock in private browsing mode, tick allow and click OK. As you can see, uBlock is now displayed in the list of installed add-ons, tap on it to open its menu. Here go to settings and you'll see a series of tabs, each containing dozens of available options. You can customize them for yourself or leave them as is as they are already set to the optimal level of blocking. If you have any difficulties, then write in the comments and I will prepare a video tutorial for you about setting up uBlock Origin on various platforms. And finally, let's check how effectively it blocks ads. I'm opening the first test website and it is fully functional, while the advertising banners on the page are blocked. Well, let's open the second test site. Advertising banners are also removed here. Summary. So there are at least four ways to block ads on Android. As you can see, they vary in complexity and efficiency, but I hope this video will help you make the best choice for your needs. The built-in Chrome for Android browser tools show the effectiveness only against site notification, so this method gets the worst e-mark. Better results were with using DNS routing, but it breaks our first test website and may be difficult to set up for some users. The third method with AdGuard as example shows good ads blocking results, but it only comes second place due to the broken first test website. And the best result with AMARC is the Firefox for Android, with built and you block add-on. It blocks ads on both test websites without any issues in their performance, which was the main task of these tests. If you still have questions, use the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to i3Reviews. Thank you for watching, goodbye!